A familiar face is back in town, and this time he'll be in the opposing dugout. And Lindsay Dunn, another familiar face, is at the Rogers Centre, where the Blue Jays will be reuniting with an old friend tonight. Lindsay. Yeah, behind me, there's one spot that's empty. There's no banner by a Toronto Blue Jay there. That used to belong to Danny Jansen, who was a longtime member of the Toronto Blue Jays. He was beloved. He's back in Toronto for the first time since being traded to the Boston Red Sox. Now, even if you're the most casual sports fan or not a sports fan at all, you probably heard the name Danny Jansen last month. That is because he made history, becoming the first Major League Baseball player to play on both rosters in one game. Quickly, what happened? He was a member of the Toronto Blue Jays. When they played the Red Sox, that game was suspended back in June, but when they went back to play it again in August, Danny was eventually traded and he was a member of the Boston Red Sox. It was a fun event, but we spoke to Danny just moments ago about being in Toronto for the first time since being traded. How does it feel to be back? What are the emotions right now being on the other side? Yeah, it's cool to be back. Um, definitely a little bit different on the other side, but um, you know, obviously been in this ballpark so many times and it's, it's cool to be back here. It made like international headlines and then yeah, you were on like every news station in North America, but also entertainment websites. How much of a whirlwind was that all? Yeah, that was wild. Um, you know, when I got traded, I think I saw like an article about that game coming up and, you know, the possibility of being in two games, you know, the same game, two different teams. So uh, but once it got closer, I feel like, you know, it definitely caught a lot of you know, media by storm. And, uh, you know, I heard it was in other countries and all that. So it was pretty wild. Um, happened pretty quick, I'd say. But it was definitely a whirlwind. So a lot of Danny Jansen jerseys right now around the ballpark. I can tell you he's definitely going to get a standing ovation when his name is announced today, Sid. Oh, fun. Okay, now, Lindsay, the latter half of the Blue Jays season featured quite a number of rookies, and we're learning they were not immune to some traditional rookie initiations. No, I love this. The Toronto Blue Jays posting on their social media as well as a few players that the rookies <laughs> had to go on their flight home from Tampa all dressed as penguins. They also had to waddle like a penguin, try to act like a penguin. They definitely got teased a little bit, but for the entire flight home, they had to dress as penguins. And hey, it's been a rough season through and through. We knew the Jays were not going to make the playoffs for quite some time. So the fact that they're still able to have a little fun and waddle into their game today, I'm telling you, I am here for it, but I was kind of hoping today that they would have had them still dressed as penguins. But let me tell you, Sin, that was not the case. <laughs> I love it too. The, that waddle was great. <laughs> Thanks so much, Lindsay. Good to see you.